Viewer discretion is advised. Hello! I am Captain Gamer, and let's play Resident Evil 4. This isn't the typical screen that you'll begin on. This is the merchant screen, where we can buy, sell, and upgrade weapons, or as they call it, tune-up. What are you buying? And everybody who's anybody knows all the merchant quotes. So, we can buy a better attaché case. Is that all, stranger? <laughs> yes. Thank you. And as you can see, we got another row and another column of inventory. A treasure map for the village. Shows the location of valuable treasures in the village area. Oh! So in case I missed any of those little spinals or cat's eyes, I can uh, go back and get it. Is that all, I think stranger? that what I'm going to earn by getting all those treasures I potentially miss will severely outweigh the 3,000 uh, pesetas it costs for the map. So let's get it. <laughs> Thank you. And speaking of treasure... What are you selling? What I'm selling is... Well, I don't want to sell the shotgun. Check this out. The golden chicken egg already pays off the treasure map. And uh, if you want to keep it on hand for one square that heals all your HP, that's cool. Otherwise, you're just gonna, gonna you're going to want to just keep on chicken eggs for quick healing. So I'm gonna sell this Is chicken that old egg. Stranger? I don't really want to hoard them. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. And then we will sell our spinals. Is that all, stranger? <laughs> our beer stein, is as I know stranger? it is pronounced stein. <laughs> Thank you. Our is that old cat's stranger? eye, <laughs> and the Thank pearl you. pendant, which the game almost baited me into losing. Ah, I'll buy it at a high price. I'm sure you will. <laughs> Thank you. All right, now that we have sold all of our sellables. What are you buying? We are going to get ourselves a new weapon, the rifle. It is, is a long-range weapon, and if you'll notice, the uh, rifle won't exactly fit in the case so much, but if we hit the Z button, we will rotate the weapon, and as you can see, it is much easier to fit in this way. And uh, as, as we go on, we'll have to... Uh, change the way our inventory is. In fact, let me do some quick inventory management right now. Or I'll accidentally cancel out of it. This is the TMP. The TMP has its own am ammunition, but it's basically a faster firing pistol that loses its ammo kind of fast, and we want to, you know, keep the room in our attaché case. So, similar weaponry, not exactly going to be necessary going ahead. There are stronger rifles, shotguns, and handguns out there, but I believe as far as a rifle goes, just having any rifle can fill, from, fulfill your purpose. Unless you are a really big rifle enthusiast and you want the best one because you love rifles. And don't get a rifle Is without a scope. The scope will actually enable you to... No, get back in there. The scope will actually enable you to use the zoom-in features of the rifle, or it'll allow you to do it better or something. <laughs> Thank you. You are welcome. And that is going to be it for our first shopping trip. What are you buying? You can also tune up your weapons. So, for instance, the handgun can do... 0.2 more damage, and I'm guessing that's, uh, that's somewhat of a big deal. You can make it fire faster, reload faster, or hold more bullets. That's what I was talking about, uh, upgrading the capacity. So say I didn't reload my shotgun in the third episode, I believe. I could have upgraded the capacity, and it would have gone from one bullet to eight bullets right there. And that would have been seven free bullets... You know, just uh, out of nowhere. But now, yep, and here he is. You can even shoot the merchant, but that is not advisable because he is a very, very helpful person. Here's another red herb, and here are more pesetas. 
And like I intended to do before, let's do a little bit of inventory management. Right now. Inventory managed. It's uh, not exactly the cleanest or the most popular way to sort out your inventory, but it will do for the time being, and it's how I like it. Also remember to equip your rifle and then combine the scope with the rifle. This way, whenever now from now on, whenever you equip the rifle, you equip both the rifle and the scope. Speaking of the rifle, let us have a little fun with the rifle. And notice how there is no reticule on the screen when you're using the rifle. For some reason, they do not like the idea of you aiming the rifle with the uh, Wii Remote. So I am just using the directional stick on the nunchuck. And let's see if we can pick this guy off. Bam! Oh, oh, oh that, was a, that was a really nice shot. Gotta zoom out, zoom in, to pick up your shots. And judging by the music starting, I think they have already caught on that I am here. Have they? Um, no, I don't think so. This guy's just doing his rounds. Stormpain's a good job, mate! Yep. These guys, I can just pick them off safely from afar. I think doing this method sort of makes you miss out on the uh, drops that you can get from the enemies. So if you are in need of drops, don't go sniping. Use your pistol, your shotgun, combine with kicks or whatever. I'm just doing this because it is just so fun to be this safe while picking off enemies in Resident Evil 4. Yeah! He was even hiding a little bit. All right. Let me see, let me give one more sweep, see if there are any more enemies that I can pick off. You there, you sir. Whoops. I didn't get him with a headshot, but if there are enemies uh, standing in high places, then they will fall over as soon as you shoot them. Hm. I can actually demonstrate right now uh, using upgrades of your capacity. Watch Welcome. this. Zero bullets in the rifle. What are you Tune buying? up. Capacity from five to seven. Is that that only cost me 6,000 pesetas. <laughs> but back, I now have on. seven shots in the rifle. Oh dear. But I still have my five pack of ammo here. And since this one Ganado is on to me, we are going to make him... We're going to humble him a little bit. Oh. And in case aiming for the head seems to be difficult, you can uh, aim for the legs. It'll cause them to stagger. I'm not sure if it's as effective as a headshot, but we'll be opened up for a kick either way. Huh. And helpfully, this music will stay in place until all the enemies in the area have been eliminated. Another thing that separates uh, Resident Evil 4 from 5 thematically is that whenever you have an encounter music in Resident Evil 5, it, ha it has this really action-y vibe to it that, that, that really gets you pumped to fight off some enemies. This one... This is a really ominous feel to it. We have a Grenadier up there, so I am not going to stay in his line of sight. Whoa, that's a lot of them. Oh, ho, ho, skill shot. Skill shot. Didn't even need to use my incendiary or my regular grenade. I kick you all the way down. Actually, that's not a good idea. You'll lose that on the drop. Uh-oh. I didn't want to do a, a 180. I just wanted to kick you. Yeah! 
critical headshots. 24 7. Whoa. You stagger so I can get at you. Oh, you don't catch, catch it anymore. No, I wanted to go for the kick on you. Anyone else here? Any other challengers? Okay. Are you the last two? Oh, there goes my loot. Oh, well. Oh, there's a guy up there. I saw him in my peripheral. And be careful about if you're running and trying to pick up ammo at the same time. You could accidentally say no. Ah! Those things can be really hard to deal with, the uh, flying hatchets. If you're in a crowd situation. Okay, saw there was a grenade here coming up. And I want to make you fall over. Oh, I made him fall off by shooting. Cool. Kick! Give me some drops, please. Ah, nuts. Okay, where are there still enemies on this map? I guess I'll have to figure that out by myself as I go exploring. Uh-oh! There they are. Nope, no hatchet for you. Oh, you can actually initiate a kick while you're in aim mode. That is very, very helpful. Sit down, sit down, sit down, thank you. Thank you have the handgun ammo. And let's continue exploring. Or not. This guy. This guy doesn't know what's up. Either that or he is just really focused on this uh, lookout post he's got right here. Nobody over here? Oh well. Bang! And a few knives just to measure. Now see if I had upgraded my uh, handgun's attack power. It, it might not even take a few knife swipes. For all I know, I could have a handgun so highly upgraded that all I need is the headshot followed by the uh, kick. And that'll take them out. Back to exploring. No, oh, wait, I think there's already something significant over here. Whoa! Dodging skills, I have them. Sit down, sit down, sit down. I said sit down. Any drops? That counts. And we have found in this chest an emblem. Right half of one. This is going to be important for later on, so we are going to keep it as if we had any choice. And here is where the Ganados were piling from, piling down from this little path here. And, if I were smarter, and if I saw this, I could have shot... Whoa! I could have shot that red barrel to take up the guy who is already, uh, standing watch over there. Get off, man. Wow, that's a few of them. Gotta kick you, maybe take down your numbers a little bit. Where do these guys come from? I guess they spawn as soon as I come up here. Wait, let me see if I can use the red barrel now. Or I'll be forced reload! Ugh. Man, I am not standing in an advantageous spot to take advantage of the red barrel, am I? Let's see if this guy is a willing volunteer. Bang! That's just fun. And later on, it's going to be very cost-effective. Nope! I do not want you using the hatchet against me. Those throwing weapons can be really very painful. And, generally speaking, nobody really likes pain. I mean, I'm not very happy to be using it in my own crusade, but I'm obviously not going to 
inflict, uh, have inflicted on myself. All these, he all these critical headshots, man. Kick! And... Kick! What is my handgun ammo at right now? I have used up my first ammo pack, so let's give the shotgun a little bit of love. You gotta enjoy the little things in life. Two for one? Oh, that feels good, man. You don't know. Well, I'm pretty sure you do know if you're watching this Let's Play. Alright, and as we have learned before, uh, items can despawn from the map, so there's a little bit of urgency to grab them. Ah, this is the left half of the ammo we got before. I have no doubt this will come into play later on. Ah, uh, I only got them with, uh, I only, I only glanced them. Damn. And from the sound of it, there still are enemies in this area. Big, big place. Shotgun is amazing for crowd control. It has so much force that it will force uh, several layers of enemies back. And I think it's capable of doing critical headshots from ridiculous lengths. And as uh, we can hear from the lack of music, this area has been secured, which some might argue really takes away from the survival horror aspect of this game. So now that we have our two emblem halves, let us resume and finish our exploration of the area. I just thought of a pro tip. Notice how I have two, two health bars down, but I don't want to use my mixed herbs of green, red, and yellow quite yet, thus trapping the yellow herb for all time until I need, absolutely need the heals. I'm thinking the best combination is one yellow herb and one green herb. That way you get the benefit of the yellow herb while the, having the healing benefits of the green herb. So I'm going to do something really squeamish. I am going to combine this yellow herb with this red herb. Use it. Oh. Oh, that is... That is mean. That is truly, truly mean. So you can only use uh, yellow herbs with uh, if there's a green herb somewhere involved. Oh, I learned that the hard way. In the meanwhile, I guess I'll just use my uh, lesser healing items. And this is the moment I've been waiting for. Ladies and gentlemen, Leon Kennedy eating an egg. Oh. Right, there are no on-world animations for using health items. That's kind of, that's kind of saddening. Oh well. We're now in front of here. And there is a crest on the front here. Looks like something fits inside the hexagonal indentation. So we are immediately brought to our key items as a sort of tutorial. We're going to combine one half of the emblem with the other half of the emblem. Now we have a hexagonal emblem. After we have the hexagonal emblem, we will use said hexagonal emblem. And that unlocks the door, just because that is Resident Evil logic. Not sure if I should be saving up my shotgun ammo or just using my... using it up, because there are more inventory slots of it. Oh well. Next time on Let's Play Resident Evil 4 Wii Edition, we shall go through this door and continue on our way back to the village. Until then, game out.